welcome to Ecoholics. Today we are going to understand yet another informative concept which is called PPC. Now PPC is a very famous and a very common concept which is in the module of microeconomics and today we are going to learn the concept, the properties and how does the PPC look. So let's begin. Now the first thing is that the PPC is the production possibility frontier and the production possibility frontier or the production possibility curve is basically a curve which tells about the production possibility of two goods that are produced in an economy. Now many students ask this question that why only two goods? There are so many goods that are produced in an economy. So why do we only take or why do we only talk about two goods in a PPC curve? The reason is simple. Because we want to learn microeconomics with a certain simpler perspectives. So which is why when we talk about just two goods being produced in an economy, we can see the perspective of how microeconomics is and what are the approaches that we need to keep while learning the microeconomics and while learning these basic principles, right? So which is why we only talk about two goods to keep it simple, right? Now let's understand the concept of PPC. So PPC as it is called as the production possibility curve or frontier, production possibility frontier also it can be called, okay. Um, it is also called, it's also called transformation curve, okay. The reason why it's known as transformation curve is because it talks about the transformation that is happening in the economy because of which the production, let's say production has increased in the economy. So, it will be shown in the production possibility curve, let's say by shifting of the curve or rotation of the curve, right. If uh, there is a growth in the economy, okay, then it will be again shown in the production possibility frontier because the possibility of producing the commodities will increase. Um, vice versa, if the, if the possibility of producing certain commodities is decreasing, let's say for example, uh, let's talk about a certain agricultural crop, okay, which is highly dependent on monsoon. Now let's say since two or three years monsoon has been very unpleasant in a certain economy because of which there is high deterioration of that crop and probably the production possibility also has decreased. Now because of that it will be showcased in the production possibility curve or the production possibility frontier. And we will see that how the, the certain economy has transformed into lacking of that particular crop which was initially grown and it used to flourish in the economy now it's not grown or probably the crop is being imported so we see the transformation right so that's why it's also known as the transformation curve now let's talk about the assumptions to the ppc there are simple assumptions, two assumptions. The first assumption is that the given resources that are the resources that are available in the economy, the resources can be the raw material, uh, the minerals, water, electricity, anything that is utilized for producing that commodity. It can be a certain agricultural resource. Okay, for example, climate, water, anything like that, okay, or land. Uh, it can also be certain manufactured or industrial resource that is utilized um, to convert the raw material into finished good, okay, and finally put it as a final good or service in the market. So, any resource, right? So, the given resources are fully and efficiently utilized. The first and foremost assumption of PPC is that PPC talks about the maximum possibility, maximum, ultimate possibility. 
of production of two goods in the economy. So, which is why we are talking about the topmost level of production possibility and so all the utilize uh, all the resources that are present in the economy will be fully and efficiently utilized now second assumption second assumption talks about the technology technology is a factor or a variable which changes okay and because of the change in technology it can highly impact on the production of commodities uh, and services uh, vividly and which is why for understanding for learning this concept we need to address this assumption that the technology will not change or technology will remain constant okay many students say that when we are talking about production possibility then why are we keeping it why are we keeping the technology constant so we are not keeping technology constant while learning the trend of the economy we are only keeping the technology constant for our own sake so that we can understand the production possibility of commodities in an economy okay at a particular time period so to mark that time period we need to keep that particular factor constant which is highly um, which can highly impact the production possibility right so that's why technology is constant okay now Let's draw the PPC. On the y-axis, we are going to take commodity or good Y. Okay. And on the x-axis, simply we are going to take good X. Okay. Now you can make a certain scale. of this is your zero a uh, certain scale to consume or to sorry reduce good y in the economy and here we can again make a similar scale to produce a certain good uh, in an economy right while you draw certain diagrams in the paper in exams in any exams make sure that you are using scale and pencil okay uh, usually pen sketch pen all of these things uh, should not be used while making diagrams especially uh, board students or uh, graduation and post graduation sh uh, students should remember this because uh, ink leaves blotting and it will just destroy the paper right also if there is a mistake in the diagram right which uh, usually happens that students are so engrossed in making the diagram that they do not realize the mistake so that time you cannot erase it and cutting and scratching does not make any sense right so which is why always use pencil and scale okay now coming back to the diagram so you have on a uh, horizontal axis you have good x and on vertical axis you have good y now you just need to draw the ppc curve which is something like this okay now why have i drawn it in a certain way or why is it like an inflated ball uh is something that you should question okay so what when we talked about production possibility curve okay we should remember that an economy uh has only two choices okay an economy has only two commodities that they must produce and that can be produced with the same amount of resources okay or same amount of budget and which is why with that budget you or the economy is producing good x and good y and which is why all the points all the points on this ppc will showcase the possibility of the combination of these two goods so what does the ppc signify the combination of two goods that are produced in an economy right so for example if i talk about let's say that we are we have this 50 100 150 uh 
and 300 all right and here we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 etc okay so here the inter interval is 50 50 and here the interval is 10 10 okay now let's say that we talk about the first position from where the PPC starts. So here we say that we have 300 units of good Y along with zero units of good X. Zero units Y because of course it's on the only Y axis, right? So how do we write it? We write it as zero comma 300. This is the production possibility at this point. Right, let's say that this is an, this is a point, okay. Then we have, let's say, we talk about this point, okay. So let's talk, uh, take this point as point B, okay. And now what do we see over here? Let's say that when we have 250Y, then we have 40X, okay. So 40X at point B. 40x and 250y correct now similarly let's go further and let's say at this point okay what do we have this is point c okay we have 50x and 180y now what do we see over here there's a pattern that we see right we have a pattern of increasing the quantity of x and reducing the quantity of y, right? So when I drew the PPC curve, okay, which is a downward sloping curve, why is it taking place? Because in an economy, when the economy has certain limited resources out of which they need to produce two commodities okay for the economy right so they need to choose the best combinations uh, and the viability and the feasibility of production and the utility of those commodities and the demand for those commodities and then they choose that okay if they have to produce on coordinate a or on coordinate b or C or any, right? So any point on this PPC will denote production possibility that is available with the economy, right? Any point outside the PPC, outside the PPC meaning that if there is a certain point, okay, that you need to achieve or the economy needs to achieve that, for example, they want that Y should be 300 and uh, X should be, let's say, 70, okay? The economy wants that Y should be 300, but X should be 70. Now to increase this, PPC is only till here. If, if X needs to be 70, then this is not possible for the economy right now. Probably there is a lot more requirement of resources that the economy should have. Only then X, X can be 70, right? So for now, what is the production possibility frontier for the economy? It is only this. You can name it as XY. And only XY is right now the PPC of the economy. We cannot go outside it. And if the point is outside it, it is what? It is an unattainable point. Okay. All of these points on the PPC are attainable, achievable. And something outside is unattainable. unattainable. It is not achievable for the economy for now, right now. It's not achievable. Okay, if let's say there's a point inside the PPC, it means that the production possibility frontier is just showing the maximum possibility or the maximum range of production possibility. And if the point is 
inside the PPC, it means that the efficiency is not appropriate. Economy is you not you use utilizing its own potential and efficiency to the maximum, and which is why it is inside the PPC curve. Okay, so this is a diagrammatic representation of the concept of PPC. This tells us how an economy can utilize its scarce resources judiciously. Okay, so you can take n number of commodities. This is just a concept to understand microeconomic concept of efficiency. Okay, and scarcity, right? And finally, now to sum it up, we need to understand the properties of PPC also. So, there are basically two properties of PC, PPC. The first one is we saw that it is downward sloping. Why is it downward sloping? Because for uh, expanding the production of one commodity, you need to reduce the production of the other commodity, right? Secondly, it is concave to the origin, concave to the origin okay concave concavity okay second property is concave to the origin now this property is very important because it also tells about the slope of ppc so this point we are going to understand in a full fledged lecture next time stay tuned and keep watching these informative lectures. We are making it in the most simplistic way so that you can understand the basics of microeconomics and economics on the whole. So stay tuned. Till then, keep watching Ecoholics. Thank you.